So before I start a previous tutorial, which is kick-ass, by the way, where we're going to have uh, two characters shoot at each other, uh, which is previously recorded, and it's pretty funny, actually. I'll tell you who the voice actor is. Then after, what we're going to do is apply that motion capture that was retargeted and cleaned up in uh, Motion Builder, and we're going to bring it into a Mega Scan character, right? So a Meta Human character, sorry. It is almost Mega Scan, but... But what I'm trying to say is that we're going to um, work very efficiently. And why is that? Because we're going to work with the template. And uh, we're going to make sure that all the skeletons are the same prefixes and prefix. And we're going to open a cinematic tool, which is the level sequencer, which will allow us to have full control of our animation within MetaHumans, right? So... How cool is that? That's pretty cool because we also have dynamics on the hair. So let's get started for the basic fundamentals of layout in background modeling. It's actually pretty simple. All these mega scan assets will be right here on the content drawer. And whenever you download anything from the content Quixel bridge, you can open it. But first, you need to log in. That's right. Make an account. It's so worth it. I can't stand modeling, but I really like this whole layout thing, right? Don't ask me to model anything, please, if you do. I don't care. Okay, so let's go to surfaces where we can actually uh, add materials, uh, such as uh, this one right here. Actually, this one was given for free, but I'm going to go back to content and quit to a bridge. And I actually needed something, right? So... Uh, the tab is right here. That's home. That's the internet logo. No, it's not. It's uh, These are just environments. Pretty much get the picture, right? These are collections. I'm looking for something urban, right? So there it is. We have a neo-baroque modular building, but what I'm really looking for is something like city streets, right? So let's select the city street. Oh, but look at that. We have urban trash. Oh, yeah, my baby. I need some trash. So the way this works is you select the icon that you want. Make sure to sign in. Don't look at my password. And once you have selected it, make sure to download. Hit that green button. And then from there, you need to add it to the content drawer right here. Right. So let's add everything in. Let's open it and just make sure also that it's, it's still downloading. But the uh, yeah, there it is from the outliner inside of the content mega scans right here. You need to open mega scans, right? And everything will be downloaded onto your 3D assets. So this is where you can find all your downloads from mega scan. So just to make that clear, my trash bags are right here. So double left mouse click, select the trash and simply add and drop. Right, pretty cool, right? It's so easy. So I'm gonna add trash maybe uh, right here. That's fine. Out on the streets, kind of like New York. And uh, do to duplicate anything inside of Unreal, just simply, well, let's put that down. Just simply uh, hold the Alt key, left mouse hold, and voila, as they say in France, with croissants and pain au chocolat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I do love cheese more than anything in this world, but it's got too much dairy. So let's get back to the content Quixel bridge. And if you want to get out of this search bar, please X out of this. All right. All right. So I was looking for a city again. So let's take a look at this icon. I'm going to go to environments. And from there, I'm looking for something quite urbanish, right? City street, just like before. And from the city street, you can scroll down. So we got bricks, we have curbs. Uh, let's also work with one of these right here, right? These are great, especially for the city. Download and make sure to click add, right? So this will be added to the directory path of content and mega scans. Let's scroll down. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I do want to show you the uh, basic fundamentals on how this works, right? Uh, let's go back to content. I don't know why this uh, actually went out. And these are materials. And that's pretty much it, right? 
So I'm going to close the bridge, open content drawer, and just remember it is content, mega scans, and 3D assets, right? So 3D assets, let's go back. Here are my trash bags, tarp crates, there they are. Oh, actually, they're not tarp crates. We're looking for not rusty metal. There is my concrete barrier. Simply left mouse hold, drag and drop it. So now maybe I can block the street. It's going to be a pretty cool previous, by the way. So if you are interested, the whole level is yours. It's all yours. Yeah, that's right. Um, so let's block the barrier or let's block the street. And that's pretty much it. I think that'll be good, right? Alt, hold, left mouse, drag. And here we go. Let's just block the street. No one's allowed. You're not allowed. Or you can stretch it, but I like resolution. And look how easy this is. It's awesome. I never liked to model, but this is cool. All right, so once I have my barriers, there they are. Let's uh, make sure that we select all of them. Here they are. Concrete barrier. Shift select all of them. All right. Let's use Alt hold and let's bring it to the other side maybe let's bring it right there right awesome so we can block the small previs block out block the block out get it while this is selected i would like to actually shift select all of my barriers select this add new folder icon while this is selected left mouse click and let's call these one barriers, right? You want to stay organized in your world outliner just because it is simply just easy to collapse, right? I also want to, uh, would like to shift select all of my elements. Well, simply select the folder, right mouse click, and go to select all descendants. You are now terminated. Right mouse click. And let's group everything in one bundle, right? So that the next time you select the barriers, oops, they're supposed to be grouped all together. Let's do this again. Right mouse click. Let's go to group. There we go, right? So if we select the barrier, everything is now selected. Yay, okay, cool. Uh, let's work with uh, just one more asset so I don't waste too much of your time. It's already been 7 minutes and 40 seconds. But for those who just logged in right now and are curious, this is all about motion capture, right? But I needed a kick-ass level. So cinematic, Gary Shootout, just to show you how easy this will be and how we're going to work efficiently for this tutorial, right? We're going to work in Motion Builder, and from Motion Builder, we'll apply that mocap very, very easy in one form of import, and that is it. Why? Because we're working with the template that carries the same prefix as the MetaHumans character. I think that's the sole key, instead of just using the remap asset. Oh, no. I don't really like the retargeter inside of Unreal. I think it's just much better if you work efficiently like this. You have the same skeleton for Motion Builder or Maya and then bring it inside of Unreal because it's just one single import and then just automatically detects it, right? I'm talking too much. I'm sorry, but uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's import one more asset and we are done for today. Let's look at the 3D assets. And I was looking for um, not the electrical box, but most likely, uh, let's see, we did have a balcony, but I am missing a, an element. There it is, crates, need crates, there they are. Drag and drop the crate, that's how easy it is, right? So we're gonna put some crates uh, over there. And we're going to mess and move, rotate that light, because that light doesn't seem to be uh, right for the scene. Uh, let's scale the crate. And there it is. That's it. We're going to duplicate the crate, one on top of each other. Let's make it uneven, just for human purposes. <laughs> right? Everything's uneven in life, man. It's the system, man. And there it is. Awesome. We're going to get ready with a really great tutorial with uh, this 
background environment will be provided, by the way. So you want to stick around for a little bit and let's take a look at our character really quick. Open up the cinematic mode. This was just some previous mocap that I did for someone at a studio. And I'm going to give you some of that too. But there it is. Hey guys. Hello. That's why.